We have a new Pokemon game in production, but we do not have a lot of information on that Pokemon game, which means it's time to wildly speculate. All right, that's enough. All right, stop. I'm going to be sick. Come on. Anywho, the new Pokemon game is a Pokemon Legends game, the second in the Legends series, and fans are super, super excited about it. Ever since Pokemon Legends Arceus came out, fans have been wanting to do another Legends game in another region, and we are getting the chance to do that in Kalos, unlike the fans of a certain other uh, Pokemon property that, uh, you know, are never going to, uh, unfortunately, get their sequel. But, you know, just like the Pokemon Company, you just crumple that up and, you know, get rid of it. So, <laughs> sorry for you Let's Go fans out there. However, one of the best parts about the Legends games was a concept trend precedence that's the word a precedence that they set up for how they want to do the starters in that game in pokemon legends arceus three old gen starters were given new forms to become hisuian starters in the pokemon legends games hisuian typhlosion hisuian samurott and hisuian decidui all of which were phenomenal but that causes the question what are the starters going to be in pokemon legends z through a pokemon pokemon za Pokemon ZA, Pokemon AZ, and I wouldn't be doing my job as a Pokemon YouTuber if I didn't start wildly guessing what the starters are going to be in this new game. So let's get into it. I've narrowed it down to six starters that I think have a very good chance of making it into Legends ZA. And I know it seems like that's a ton of starters, like I'm going to be like, and Charizard for a third time as a starter. But that's not what, ha what is happening here. It's two sets of three starters and that's how it was in the original Kalos games anyways, because you could pick from the Kalos starters and you could pick from the Kanto starters. This is just a different variation on that. But I think any of these six have a really good chance of making it into these games. We're kicking off this video with the fire starters, which I know is not in Pokédex order. But if that bugs you, the first starter that I want to talk about in this video is, of course, the original fire starter from Kalos, Delphox. And not just any Delphox form or not just the one that we had back then. I'm talking about Mega Delphox. This art by Mad Zygarde Core, Mad Zygarde Core, Mad Zygarde Core, Subarashi on Twitter, which is what we will be referring to him as for the rest of the video, actually really does a good job of capturing what a good Mega Delphox should look like. It really focuses in on that witch aesthetic with the flame on the staff, and it fixes the ear hair problem, gives it a nice hat that really shines on that witch aesthetic. He has it as a fire psychic type. I personally think that I would go fire ghost with this starter, but I didn't make this Pokemon, so my opinion doesn't really matter. For a stat distribution on this Pokemon, I think that I personally would increase the special attack slightly and really increase both defenses, making it a bulky special attacker, which I think really fits that witch aesthetic and that design and the themes that I would think would really shine through on a Mega Delphox. I would also probably give it the ability Magic Guard or Magic Bounce, to kind of really, again, flow into that witch aesthetic, which, again, Subarashi has really captured. Before Legends ZA was actually announced, everyone thought that we were getting Pokemon Black and White 3 or Pokemon Legends Johto or Pokemon Legends Celebi or some sort of Unova or Johto game. But since we are not going back to Unova or Johto at the moment, I feel like a starter from one of those games is likely going to make its way into Pokemon Legends ZA. And that is why me and Subarashi created Colossian Embor. Much like how the theme of Legend ZA right now seems to be urban development, all the Colossian starters that I had made are going to feature different eras of human development or human evolution, and that's really going to shine through on these starters. This Colossian Embor particularly focuses on the Iron Age when we really started making iron tools and weapons. This Embor consumes metal and then melts it down and puts it on different parts of its body to give itself armor. This would increase its defensive capabilities and explain why it is now a fire steel type. For stats with the Colossian Embor, I would probably increase the defense of this Pokemon and would lower the speed slightly. I would probably redistribute the stats from the special attack and give it slightly higher attack, maybe in the 130 range. That would make it an amazing trick room user. And if we gave it an ability like stamina, it could really just use body press and body everything, especially with that fire steel typing. I really, really enjoyed this design for Embor and think it would be a good transition into Pokemon Legends ZA. Next up are the grass starters, and much like Delphox, I thought Chestnut would be an amazing mega Pokemon to add into Pokemon Legends ZA. 
this mega chestnut art really brings out that barbarian and fighter aesthetic and brings out a lot of that pangolin influence that we see in the original design by giving it sharper claws and more spikes around its body. I really think that Subarashi did a really good job with this one. Subarashi decided to give it a grass fighting type, which I think is totally fine, fits it really well, especially with the motif that he's going for. I could even see it going grass steel, though, and being a competitive powerhouse kind of in the same vein as Ferrothorn if you did its stats right. The steel claws and steel spikes on its back, I think, really are highlighted in this design, and it just opens up a lot of typings for this Pokemon. But I think grass steel or grass fighting is really the way that we would want to go with this one. For the stats on this Pokemon, I would really double down on the attack and defense, kind of increasing the attack to at least 125 and maybe the defense to maybe around 135. Then you could bulk up HP or special defense and really make a physical tank out of this Pokemon, which I think is super underrated in its original form. I think a mega form would really make people kind of come around on this Pokemon, even though a lot of people kind of lost interest on its middle form, which is kind of understandable. If you really wanted to double down on that fighter and barbarian aesthetic with this Pokemon, I think giving it Intimidate would be an amazing choice for an ability, kind of striking fear into the hearts of the other Pokemon as it comes out, as it lowers their attack, keeping its high attack and defenses, and just powering through everyone with that amazing physical bulk. Imbor was based on the Iron Age, but I think it's time to go back even further for our grass starter. Unova got some love with Imbor, and now it's time for Johto to get some love with this grass starter, Mega Mega... Colossian Meganium. This form of Meganium is based on the human age of agriculture. 10,000 years ago, when humans decided to start settling down, growing their own crops for food and medicine and science, advancing humans further, healing humans, allowing them to live longer, making scientific advancements because they decided to settle down and start capturing the power of nature. This form of Meganium, believe it or not, is Grass Fairy. Fun fact, it's actually illegal to make a fake mon form of Meganium that's not Grass Fairy type. The more you know. All right, yes, I'm basic. I get it. Everyone does Grass Fairy. It doesn't matter. It fits super well. We all know that's what they're going to do when they decide to make a different Meganium form. So hush up. This form of Meganium is all about healing. The vines growing on it would attach to other Pokemon to heal them. The lotus flower around its neck would give off a sort of healing energy. Its petals would provide healing to humans. I think that healing would be the main focus for this Pokemon, sort of like Sinistra. For the stats on this Pokemon, I would maneuver some so that way we could increase the special attack stat and probably transfer some from defense into HP. I would also probably try and increase its speed a little bit so that way every Pokemon that I do isn't some trick room gimmick, but it's really hard because its speed is at a weird tier and I love trick room. For this Pokemon, I feel like some sort of ability that gives it like an aura, especially an aura of healing would be very fitting for this Pokemon. So I think I would probably give it something like Grassy Surge, sort of like Tapu Bulu has to heal up and give some other side abilities with it. I think it would fit super well and be able to be used really well and competitive that way. I also think I'd probably try and give it a signature move that maybe increases its special defense in some way due to like the vines blocking it or something of that nature. Of that nature. I'm not sure what I would do actually, but I think there is a lot of cool ways to use this Pokemon and I love this design. And last, but certainly not least, the water starters. The final mega starter in this video is of course given to one of the most popular starters of all time, Primarina. What? All right, fine, it's Greninja. You want Mega Greninja that bad? There, you can have it. Honestly, Subarashi killed this design by putting more ninja in our ninja, which is exactly what everyone wanted anyways. I love that the Frubbles come back in this design and lend credence. Sound like I'm from 1882 when I say that. The Frubbles lend credence. Callback, that's a, that's a much better term. That's what I'm looking for. And callback to previous designs, Froakie and Frogadier. For the stats on this Pokemon, I think I would honestly copy Ash Greninja. What? Ash Greninja is so strong. It gets a bigger boost than a Mega Pokemon does. It gets 110 boost. Well, I, I guess take 10 from the HP of Ash Greninja and call it a day. I would honestly keep the abilities from base Greninja, even though they have been super nerfed because they are still really, really good. Or go full bore and... Give it Moxie or something like that, you know, make it something that'll Oko God. If they brought back Greninja just to give it a mega form, I think the internet might actually break. 
move over, Charizard. You're no longer the internet's favorite starter. The true favorite is here. The last Colossian form starter that I chose actually does not follow the generational pattern that Legends Arceus uses because I decided to focus on another unloved starter that really deserves some attention. That's why I chose Colossian Inteleon. Meganium was the beginning of agriculture and medicine and human stability. Imbor was based on the Iron Age when we started using metal tools that allowed us to make giant technological advancements. And Inteleon, of course, is based on the future. I just noticed that a game fell down on my set and that's going to be in the entire video. I fixed it. I could not let it stay down. I am sorry. I cannot help myself. Sorry, Generation 2. This Inteleon is a water psychic type and trades out that measly little finger pistol for a massive tail rail gun. It would shoot out huge beams of energy from its tail by locking its feet into the ground with its sticky palms and firing huge amounts of energy at its opponents. For the stats on this guy, listen, I know I get it. I, I like slow Pokemon, okay? Sue me. Okay, you caught me. But this one makes sense. It is stuck in one place on all four legs, shooting massive Okos out of its tail, okay? It cannot also be going 200 miles per hour while it does that. It just does not make design sense, okay? It's getting its speed lowered. I would also swap its attack and HP and increase its special attack even more so it could literally just shoot out massive Oko rays from its tail. It's what we all want. And I would increase the defenses a little bit. I got really focused in on the lowering the speed and raising the special attack. I just, I want a death gun lizard, okay? That's what I really want. This Inteleon is what happens when the aliens from Halo get to pick their own starter Pokemon. So there you have it, my two sets of Pokemon starters that I would put into Pokemon Legends ZA. But what did you think? Which one was your favorite? Did you hate them all? Which one do you think will actually make it into Legends ZA? Are you subbed to the channel? If not... There's a simple fix for that, because if you don't, I can't help what happens to you. All the artwork in this video, the three megas that he made for his own Twitter, the three Colossian starters that I had to make for this video were done by Subarashi on Twitter. He's on Instagram, he's on Twitter, he's probably other places. Links in the description. Make sure to check him out. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys next time when the adventure continues.